on the six train heading uptown to my lit professor's office it's like light years off of campus don't ask me why i'm sandwiched in between this guy who's literally drooling and some european hipster who well let's be honest smells woody allen heard gershwin in the air when he thought manhattan well, i'm not so impressed i hear like philip glass at best i wish i could take a second to get Because clearly I'm a magnet for a special breed of psycho who thinking weird's a valuable use of time. And my notebook likes to wander on its own across the city, taking with it my whole thesis, which I need to write like now. I don't remember the Muppets getting hives when they took Manhattan. Well, my own diagnosis is I'm creeping towards psychosis because I cannot find a place to get calm. <laughs> it's really hard, you know, I tried to take up yoga, but be surprised how many folks don't think deodorant is zen. I even saw a life coach who told me I should breathe, just breathe. But every time I took in a breath, I visualized that life coach is death. She's having brunch at Cafe Pierre, and she's choking and choking and choking and choking. Now finally she's Anyway, I get to my professor's and he sits me down and tells me that my thesis on Virginia Woolf feels somehow false. I tell him what I'm working from is not so much a thesis as the fact that she went crazy and that seems, well, apropos. My professor just tosses back his head in a dry Manhattan. I'm wondering which will kill him quicker, the big apple or the liquor, when suddenly I panic and I tell myself I must get someplace calm. I up and run toward Penn Station like I swear my head was ready to blow and I hop a train to Jersey just as fast as any person can go the 90 minutes out I get off at some provincial hamlet I've never heard of there's a real estate office right on the block I can't afford a two-bedroom I go into shock I think what the heck I write a check, cause there's sunlight and closets and laundry, but mostly it's cold. calm strangely calm like times square at 5 a.m calm <laughs> like totally freak me out calm like i'm gonna slowly go crazy and throw myself off the balcony calm damn it so i tear up my deposit and I head back to Penn Station. But of course, the subway's broken, so I walk four miles home. And like 14 hours later, I get back to my apartment with my crazy spastic roommates and a room, well, of my own. I've got this black and white poster on my wall that says my Manhattan. And I give it the finger but I let my gaze linger and I notice how the people look like tiny specks of gray all haphazardly arranged just like they were in that Monet and suddenly I'm struck by this bizarro revelation that like Warren's whacked out theory might deserve some exploration <laughs> 